understanding your organization's carbon footprint is a crucial step towards reducing your company's climate impact. A company's carbon footprint is classified into three categories of emissions. Scope 1, Scope 2 and Scope 3. But how can we differentiate them? Let's begin with Scope 1. It includes direct emissions from a company's owned or controlled sources, such as on-site energy like natural gas and fuels, refrigerants, furnaces, as well as emissions from fleet vehicles. Also included in Scope 1 are process emissions, which are released during on-site manufacturing. Now we come to Scope 2 emissions, which are your company's indirect emissions from purchased energy. According to the GHG protocol, Scope 2 represents one of the largest sources of greenhouse gas emissions globally. In that way, it generally offers an opportunity to significantly reduce emissions. Scope 2 emissions mostly include indirect greenhouse gas emissions from purchased or acquired energy like electricity, steam, heat or cooling, generated off-site and consumed by the reporting company. Lastly, we come to Scope 3 emissions, the indirect value chain emissions of a reporting company. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, Scope 3 emissions are the result of activities from assets not owned or controlled by the reporting organization. These emissions can represent what the largest portion of its greenhouse gas emissions inventory and are the most challenging ones to calculate. The GHG protocol divides Scope 3 emissions into upstream and downstream emissions. Upstream emissions are related to purchase or acquired goods and services. These upstream emissions are classified in eight categories, which are purchased goods and services, capital goods, fuel and energy-related activities, upstream transportation and distribution, waste generated in operations, business travel, employee commuting, and upstream leased assets. Downstream emissions are related to sold goods and services and emitted after they leave the company's ownership or control. Downstream emissions fall under seven categories. Downstream transportation and distribution, the processing and use of sold products as well as the end-of-life treatment. It also includes the emissions of downstream leased assets franchises and investments. An experienced partner can help you to develop a full corporate greenhouse gas emissions inventory that includes scopes 1, 2 and 3. This inventory provides a baseline and gives you the opportunity to continuously measure and reduce your carbon footprint to make the transition to a net zero economy. Kick off your climate action strategy now.